Escape to the one place where the wind is your only worry. Out yonder to the open sea. You, know, you like that, yonder? Well, my point is that we have hundreds of miles of open waterways at our fingertips, and Sag Harbor sailing instructor Mark Tompkins invited me out on his keelboat to prove it's so much more fun to be sailing. Okay, I think we can expect to relax. We're gonna head out in the middle of Noyak Bay and sort of stick our nose around, see where we wanna head. But for the most part, this will end you feeling very calm. I know you had a hectic morning. You were shooting all morning. So we're gonna go out for about two hours and you're gonna come back and you're gonna be able to breathe. I would say you're doing pretty well. It's about eight to 10 knots. It's gonna come around a little bit more to the southwest. And uh, yeah, I think this is ideal. You got uh, clear skies, nice sun, enough wind to move you, and good company. So that's all we need. Well, sailing is something that matches up with the, the resources that we have out here, which is just this circumstance right here where you're out sailing and you're the only boat out here. So I'm not sure really that a lot of people love to sail. It's one of those things where few enough people do it that that's why it's enjoyable. My favorite uh, things to do are to basically find a destination, get someplace, maybe take a swim. You may have a meal at some point. But mostly it's just fun to try to sail the, the boat as, as well as you can. Okay, we're getting ready to raise the mainsail. Um, we're going to head into the wind, take off these sail ties, and then we'll pull up the main halyard, which will raise this sail. We're sailing. We're on a beam reach. We have the wind coming about 90 degrees to the boat. And we're not really keeling over a lot. It doesn't seem like a really critical situation, but this is one of the fastest points of sail on a boat. All right, we've come out here. We came across towards Jessup's Neck. Right now we're heading across towards North Haven. Maybe we'll see if we can duck our head around West Neck into West Neck Harbor up here. In here on a busy Saturday or Sunday, you can see 25 or 30 boats at a time. There are many different uh, sailor personality types. You have the like really active sailor that's always doing something. A boat is a place to work. Uh, then you have the kind of ordinary pirate types that are just like, you know, get out and kind of want to have a drink and just sort of talk and tell stories. And then you have, you know, the racer types who are, you know, have the gloves on so their hands don't get burnt and are, uh, you know, have their boat tricked out with all the uh, racing things. I don't know, I guess I'm kind of a recreational sailor. There's certainly a lot to enjoy. There's just the peace and serenity of being out there in the water. Um, there's part of the technical fun of actually getting the boat to sail fast. And um, there's some other little challenges, uh, navigating past, you know, big ferries going back and forth or getting up into West Neck Harbor and, and setting out an anchor and, you know, maybe swimming ashore or doing a meal out there. So there's a lot to do. And that's the art of sailing. A beaut, isn't it? And lucky for you, the Sag Harbor Sailing School is going to be open for sailing lessons and sunset cruises all summer long. Just look for them off Pine Neck Avenue in Sag Harbor. So here with the sailboats off Long Wharf, I'm Liza DeGia for Plum TV.